Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I can't believe we're finally here. Um, thank you guys for clicking the video. Um, so that today for my first video, I just kind of wanted to do a get ready with me date night edition. And just a little bit of a chit chat. Um, I'll talk through the products that I'm using, why I'm using them, and we'll just go from there. So let's just get started. So you just saw me spray the Mario Badescu spray to kind of refresh my face. And now I'm putting on my little lip gloss. Because, child, you cannot have chapped lips while you're doing your makeup. It ruins the whole look, let me tell you. So I'm just smacking that in. And then I zoomed in a little bit so we can get started with my eyebrows because that's the first thing I do. Eyebrows first. So now I'm just, I kind of slow motion it for you guys. So just show you how I'm brushing strokes upward on my eyebrow just to get my hairs to be up. Because that's the form that I like to do my eyebrows in. This is really important because if your eyebrows are just kind of like flattened down or whatever shape that you currently have, it may not let the whatever product you use to fill your eyebrows like fill in a beautiful way, if that makes sense. So I just finished, I just finished doing that. And now I'm, I'm showing you the product. So I used the brow pen by um, Benefit and now I'm just filling in my eyebrows. So um, just a little bit about the channel. I'm really excited for you guys to be here. I'm going to make a video explaining why I'm doing this, um, like what prompted me to do this. This is like a year in the making. I've just been really slow, lazy. I, I need to get my mind right, mind right really before I committed to you know creating my channel and um, just this brand for myself. But I'm super excited to be here. I'm super excited to bring you guys along with me to my journey. If you know, you know. Makeup has been a passion of mine for about three years now. And I have a distinct moment when I knew I needed to get, get my life together. Certain people know, but I'll make another video entirely dedicated to, like, why I started this journey. Um, this channel will not only be about makeup, but it will also be just about my faith. That's really what, what prompted me to start it. As well as skincare, and I also have natural hair underneath this beautiful wig. Um, so I'll be, just be talking about that. Sometimes I'll, make, I'll, maybe, I'll maybe even record some styles for you guys as well. So as you can see, I'm just, like, penciling in my brows try and do it as perfected as possible this I this actually takes me the longest in my makeup routine like perfecting my eyebrows and like making sure I use concealer to clean it up properly this takes me the longest out of every step of my makeup routine um, so now I'm taking my brow pomade and I'm using that brush that you see it has like a slanted edge and I'm using that to kind of fill in those those um, spaces the pencil for me kind of gives me the brow strokes that I want but this one kind of gives me the depth and the density I want in my actual eyebrows. So I'm just continuing to fill that up, making sure I don't have no no um, bald spots like I normally do. Um, I know I'm not the only one. <laughs> so I'm just filling that, continuously filling that in. At this point, I'm realizing, okay, I think we're good. So I think now we're going to get our concealer in like three, two, one. Anytime, Nat, anytime. There it is. So Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, my absolute fave. This is in golden beige. So I started doing lighter under my brows and my skin tone on the top of my brows. Here, I kind of did both lighter and then I kind of went on top with a darker shade. And I think it just looks better. Like I know people have been doing it for a long time, but I didn't do it until I knew why I was doing it. And so after noticing how my brow shape was and how my makeup in its entirety looked, I was like, okay, definitely lighter on the bottom. Give you that little highlight underneath your brows that we love to do. And then darker on the top. So now I'm just cleaning up my eyebrows, making sure the arch is to perfection the way I like it to be. And I'm just going to do that for a couple more, well, seconds for you guys, but minutes in reality because I have to speed up a lot of parts of this video. This originally was 45 minutes long. Like when I do my makeup, it's kind of like my me time, just like my skincare is. So I really go in depth. I have my music on. I'm just chilling, which is why I'm always late to every event that I'm going to, which I'm going to fix. I'm going to get my life together. But anyway, so for this step, it's really important that your mirror is literally like two inches from your face. You really want to make sure your mirror is two inches from your face because you really need to make sure that when you're like sculpting underneath and above your eyebrows, you don't want to get the concealer on your eyebrows. I've done that so many times just because I wasn't as precise as I needed to be. And yes, you can just go back ahead and take your um, brow pomade or brow pencil and kind of fill in those spots where the concealer is. But girl, it's a mess. Like it's just, it just ruins the flow of the makeup. It just, it just doesn't, it's just not cute. So I just really make sure I get really close, get really precise. And once I have my like line as straight as possible underneath and above my brow. And then we just continue cleaning up the brows, hiding all that, you know, hair that's growing in beneath your brows. And now moving on to my right eyebrow. 
and I speeded it up for you because I felt like you know I kind of slowed down the first eyebrow so at this point I'm just speeding it up and doing the exact same thing I did on the other side so the thing the good thing about with concealer and with um, like doing your own brows you can kind of make whatever shape you want like I've made my eyebrows a little bit more arched than normal I've made my eyebrows a little less arched, a little more straight. You really can, can control your shape of your eyebrows with the concealer. So that's why this is such an important step. I just showed you guys my concealer that I'm using for the top. It's sand. So I use Golden Beige Too Faced Born This Way for the bottom, which was a lighter a lighter tone for me. And at the top, I'm using sand. They look kind of similar the, from what I'm looking, but trust me, they are two distinct shades and it matters. But let me tell you, eyebrows is not easy. Like this arguably might be one of the hardest steps of makeup besides getting how to do your lashes down but honestly like everyone will tell you practice makes perfect and that used to annoy me but truly practice makes perfect so now i'm gonna you have to blend all that um or buff out all that concealer so you saw the brush i'm using is a pretty dense brush you don't want to use like a regular like eyeshadow brush or a foundation brush is too big this is the perfect brush that fits right there right above where you see where my headband is versus where my eyebrows are that middle space in my forehead it fits right there to just kind of blend that concealer out so it's not as harsh and that's what i'm doing right now we're just blending it out blending it out buffing it out making sure that um there's no like harsh concealer line underneath my eyebrows because yes we got makeup on but we are trying to do a like a no makeup actually no this is a this is actually a glam beat however with eyebrows you don't want to like look like you just did your eyebrow I don't know if that makes sense I kind of try to go for the I just got my eyebrows threaded I filled it in a little bit but we really sculpted out our eyebrows we literally made our eyebrows just now we made them and that's and that's on that like no one's gonna check us so moving forward I'm continuing to buff out sorry that the mirror is literally in your face sometimes I actually not sometimes I actually forgot I was filming at some point and I was just like okay let me just do my stuff but here we are so now I'm taking my brow freeze. I didn't show that, but I'll I'll make a I'm gonna make a video actually, just kind of showing all the products I use, like step by step, like literally just showing you my products because I think I have a pretty good um, setup of products. So I just might use my brow freeze, any type of brow gel you can use, and this kind of like a set. It kind of sets your eyebrows. With the way we use a setting spray to set our face, this sets our eyebrows and kind of keeps it in place. Don't mind me talking. I'm telling my Google Home to play some ratchet music so I can really get down and dirty in the makeup. Like I told you, this is my me time. This is my time to just kind of like de-stress and do what I love to do. So now I'm gonna prime my eyelids to prepare for the eyeshadow. So the brush I used on my eye to like buff out the concealer on my eyebrows, I actually used the same brush for my eyelids. I didn't know how important it was to prime your lids until, let me think, three to four months ago. Like I used to just go right on top with my eyeshadow on my bare lids and no honey that is a no go you need to prime your lids because you want to create a base for your eyeshadow not only does it create a base but you're also allowing the pigment of your eyeshadow to kind of really to really pop on your face and it's also important to set that base because you just imagine you put concealer under your eye under your eyes you set your concealer after to, to prevent any crease marks the same thing applies for your eyelids and for me I have hooded lids so child them creases they be they be trying to try you and by setting your eyelids after you primed it you're kind of preventing those creases from seeping through through your um, eyeshadow so now I'm just looking for which palette I'm gonna use honestly when I do my eyeshadow I really don't plan ahead I just kind of like look at my shade and I'm just like okay what we're we gonna use today today we're using the, the morphe 350 350 palette and at this point I knew what I was wearing um, but I didn't really know what kind of eye look I was going for like I'm showing you these eye colors and I think I do actually use them but at some point I literally put on a eyelid color and I'm just like this is not gonna work for me so for now we're starting with these shades and now we're just gonna blend it in honey I do want to give a disclaimer though I am NOT a professional makeup artist nor do I nor am I trying to be a professional makeup artist I just truly love to do my makeup I love to learn new techniques I love to try different products and so this is kind of just like my outlet 
to do so and just bring you guys along with me on that journey of just reviews and just chit-chatting about makeup and everything else that my channel is associated with. But no, I'm not a professional makeup artist. Honestly, I feel like every time I do my makeup, I get better. So this makeup was done about two, three weeks ago. I feel like at this point now, I'm even better at my application skills, at my product usage than I was two to three weeks ago. So it's constantly a learning process. And honestly, that's what made me, that's what makes me love it so much. Eyeshadow was also a learning curve for me. I feel like eyeshadow seems easy, right? You're just putting colors onto your lid and you're blending, but it's a little bit more to it. Like blending is such a huge factor in the way your eyeshadow would turn out. Cause otherwise, if you're just kind of placing the colors there and just kind of combining different colors and slightly blending, it's gonna look really harsh. It's not gonna look like a gradient effect like most of us want. So with eyeshadow, one of the biggest things I learned from my one of my favorite um, YouTubers, Alyssa Ashley, is you really have to blend. And I like to watch um, YouTubers with specifically for eyeshadow. I like to use oh sorry, specifically with eyeshadow, I like to use I like to watch YouTubers that have hooded lids as well because there's a there's honestly different techniques. Like there's different techniques for depending on the shape of your eyes and your eyelid. And I have hooded eyes, so that kind of that really helped me to figure out okay, let me see what works for me. And I think I was able to find that. So as you can see, I'm taking, I first, the first shade I used on my lid was a skin tone shade. And the reason why I use that is because yet again, I'm creating that base for the rest of the products I'm gonna put onto my eyelid. Now I'm taking this, I really wanted a outward effect. It's not quite cat eye, but I did wanna bring my eye shape a little bit up and out. So that's why I'm, I'm blending in that direction. And that's the beauty of eyeshadow you can also change your eye shape based on the technique you use to apply your eyeshadow and I can make another video going in depth on that because I feel like I basically did research at this point on how to kind of change your eyelid and eye shape based on the way you apply your eyeshadow and even your even your lashes can change your eyelid it's there's levels to this honey but yeah so I'm putting a darker shade on my outer that's the that's rule number one darker shades go on the outer type, outer portion of the lid Lighter shades go on the inner portion of the lid. Of course, this can vary based on whatever eye look you're going for. But for me, I really wanted to create a gradient effect you'll see in the very end of the video. So I'm applying the darker shade on the outer part of my lid and just blending, blending, blending. At this point, you see I'm not finished yet, but I'm just making sure that the shape that I'm going for is what I'm seeing reflected in my eye look so far. So that's really important, I think, when you're doing your eye look. You don't have to wait till the end to be like, okay, the look will come together. Let me wait till the end to make sure, you know, it is where I want it to be. You can stop at any point and be like, okay, let me see if this is going the direction I want it to go in. Because guess what? Whenever you mess up, whenever you feel like, mm, this is not really what I was intending to go for, you can always go back in time, honey, and just erase, like not erase, but literally wipe off whatever you did and start over. So right now I'm taking the Sephora Pro Palette, which I love. I got it on sale though because it's a little pricey. And at this point, I believe I am putting a lighter shade on my inner corner of my lid. But this color was not doing it for me. So I had to go back. Like I said, you can go back in time and change it up. So I'm using my Norvina, which also was on sale. Let me tell you something about me. I shop a lot. Yes, I will admit that. But I never get things full price. Never, ever, ever. And you know why? It's because things are always on sale. You just need to find that coupon. That's the hardest part. And I'm so excited to kind of show you my tips and tricks. Because, child, if you come into my apartment, the first thing you'll say is, girl, you don't got a lot of room for this. But let me tell you, everything I buy, the price point, it's chef's kiss, okay? It is good. And there's tips and there's tricks, and I will let you guys know all the deets. So now I found the shit I want in the, in the Norvina palette, and I'm just placing that. It's like a whitish, kind of silverish on the inner portion to the middle part of my eye because like I said I'm trying to create that gradient effect and you saw I'm getting a little bit excited that's the that's also the thing I love about makeup like every step of the way for me excites me every step of the way so when I see things coming together I'm like mm-hmm that right there that right there is doing it so I'm getting a little bit excited as you saw my little dance when you'll see a couple of that throughout the video don't mind me that's just my personality so I'm just continuing to blend that out place the product on my lid and really just finish the eye look, really. I think 
looking pretty satisfied so far. I'm gonna go back in a little bit later to kind of clean up some things. Now we're getting to lashes. Now this is one of my favorite steps because without lashes, there's no look. And I remember I used to go out and be like, you know what, I don't have time to put lashes on, I'm just gonna go out. And that was a huge mistake. I would beat my face, wear mascara, and then walk out. And basically I need to just go back home because I didn't look, I really did a look. And in fact, I did. Lashes are, t are just terribly important in makeup. Like, they literally, unless you have long lashes, then I'm happy for you. God bless you. I don't have long lashes at all. I have short lashes. And sometimes I do go out with just mascara on and I call it a day. But I really want to show out, I put my lashes on. And tonight was date night. So I really wanted to make sure, like, okay, we're going to have some lashes today. And I think these lashes, so, okay, another tip. I have hooded lids. My eyes are not that big. Like, they're they're pretty squinty if you ask me. So I like to make the, like, whatever lashes I use, I like for the ends of my lashes that are going towards the outer part of my eye to be longer than the middle part of my lashes. And it's because, I told you from the, I told you before, that I'm trying to do an upward and outward look on my lids. So my lashes need to contribute to that as well. So that's what I use in my lashes. I don't think I showed you my lashes, but... Like I said, I'm gonna make a video just showing products and showing lashes and showing why I use these products just to give you guys some insight as to why I'm using what I'm using. Now I'm priming my face with a oil-infused serum. And I know, I know. Oil on my face, yes, I know. And coming from me, I have combination skin, except right now it's on the drier side. I use oil-infused serum because let me tell you, my face for some reason has gotten drier these past couple months and I don't like dry patches. They do come often. So I really make sure that, you know, my skin is really primed and prepped, ready for the ready for the foundation or whatever I'm gonna use. Before I talk about the foundation I'm using, I did put eye cream on. Always put eye cream before you do your face because you're lit. if you have like, I have bags under my eyes. It's just, I'm a third year medical student. I'm gonna have some bags under my eyes. But you wanna kinda hide that as much as you can when you're putting on makeup. So the eye cream does wonders. Now I'm using, I use the foundation stick, which I adore. I'm not gonna say what, what I use because I just, I'm still in the process of figuring out if I really, really like it. This is my first impression of it. This is actually the first time I used it. And what do you guys think? I like it. I think it's blending in perfectly. It's giving me full coverage. It's giving me smooth application. It's giving me, I'm not returning it. That's what it's giving me. So I'm just, I fast forwarded this clip because I'm just applying foundation and I'm using a dense, this, I believe this is a cosmetics brush. And yes, I know it's expensive, but I got it on sale. So now I'm getting excited. I'm doing my little dance or whatever. Um, and now we're just gonna continue with the makeup tutorial. Now on to concealer. So the technique I use for my concealer, I tried to do a little TikTok trend where you do it just on the inner parts and on the outer parts. But you'll see, mm -mm, I like it to be full coverage underneath there and we need to cover it up. And you'll see I changed my mind. I'm like, you know what girl, add some more. So we're gonna add some more. We want it to be full coverage. We want the under eye to be popping. We want the under eye to be bright, giving. I just woke up and I look like this. I used two concealers. I used um, my, I believe my Pat McGrath concealer and now I'm using my NARS concealer, which is a little bit lighter. So you see, I'm gonna put that on the parts of my face that I want highlighted. The um, bridge of my nose, my little forehead. I'm gonna apply it to my chin as well. And I'm also gonna apply it some on top of the concealer that I already have under my eye. Go nap, shake it up, ayy, pop it back, ayy, look back at it, ayy, ayy, look back at it, girl, go, uh-huh, right there, hit the spot. So we just finished our concealer, so now we're going to let it dry. You have to let the concealer dry. Jackie Anna has taught us all that by now because you want to, it gives you more coverage. Like, that's literally the biggest reason, it gives you more coverage. So in the meantime, I'm going to put some more brow gel on my eyebrows. Make sure that it stays in place because for some reason, well, not for some reason, like I told you, I have combination skin. So parts of my face are oily, parts of my face are normal. My eyebrows get oily and I'm having this makeup on for about, I'm going to have probably have it on for six, seven hours from this point moving forward. So I want to make sure that my eyebrows stay matte and child, this makeup look took me a while and we're still having the concealer to dry. So I let it dry for a good amount of time. Not enough where it's too dry where I can't even blend it anymore, but enough where... I know it's giving me the coverage that I want. 
Now I take my beauty blender, you have to wet it. You do not use a dry beauty blender, it's just no. Rule, handbook rule number two. So I'm just blending it in. Do not swipe or no swipey with your beauty blender. You wanna just pat, you wanna pat, 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 pat while moving it upwards and outwards. Pat, 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 pat while moving it upwards and outwards. If you swipe, you're gonna pick up product from your under your eye and you're defeating the whole purpose of all the product you placed. When I do my under eye, I also like to make sure I look upward so I can really get into the creases. Like I told you, I have bags and I'm perfectly okay with that. I also have creases under my eye, which most of us do. You never, you will never get rid of your creases, let me be honest with you, because I've been watching videos where I see people saying that certain techniques will remove the crease marks entirely. No, you have crease marks, that's just what you got. It's okay, but we can make it better. I'm using my setting powder, as you saw, that made me cough. It's a very strong scent to it. But this setting powder, mm, chef's kiss. This is my, this is at this point, it's my diehard setting powder. And no, it's not Laura Mercier. Details will be coming soon. But this one I use to just really get in under my eye, really set my concealer in every location that I placed it. As you can see, I did keep my nose concealer on. I want that to be a little bit more dried down because we want our nose to be sculpted. I didn't really sculpt my nose out as I would normally do. I kind of wanted to keep it... Keep it natural, I didn't want to make my nose too skinny today, but let me tell you, there are some days where I really <laughs> snatch my nose up, okay? So now I'm just continuing to set, and now I'm gonna get into contour. This is my, I believe this is, what is this brand called? I'll add it into the details description below. But I just kind of put it on the parts of my face that I want contoured. I always make, I always make my little duck face like this, and I just blend, blend, blend. At this point, my boyfriend's watching me, I gotta go. So now I'm just quickly doing this, quickly trying to blend as much as possible. This is this is actually really important, so I don't recommend going too fast on this because you can easily have a line of demarcation on your forehead, as you see in my forehead. <laughs> I'm gonna fix that later, so bear with me. But yeah, this is really important to blend because you really want to have a seamless, you know, a seamless um, gradient between where your highlight is and where your contour is. Like I said, we have not blended to perfection quite yet. The look will come together. So like I said in the beginning that sometimes you can just literally look while you're doing every step of your makeup process and then see if you like it or not. So you don't have to wait to the very end. But there are some times you have to wait to the very end, like now. You're gonna see in the end that everything comes together, in my opinion, beautifully. But right now, we're looking a little rocky. We are looking a little rocky and that's okay. I'm moving on to um, contouring my nose. And like I said, I really didn't do that much here. I really didn't sculpt for the sculpting golds as I normally do. We just kind of just try to do something to give us like dimension in our nose. Another thing I started doing was putting, as you saw, setting powder on the side of my nose and at the middle of my nose. I always did the middle of my nose, but for some reason I didn't do the side of my nose and girl, that changed everything. Like I'm, that's what I mean by I'm constantly learning new techniques. Now let's be real. There's different ways for you to get to the same place in whatever look you're going for. So don't think that there's, there's never an end all be all, no matter who you're watching, no matter what tutorial you're looking at, there's never an end all be all. But this is what worked for me, and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna stick beside it, okay? Now we're bronzing up our face. We contoured before, we sculpted it, we created the dimension we wanted. Now we're warming it up, okay? So let's put our bronzer on. I'm using my, I believe, Charlotte Tilbury. Also, I was using Black Opal for contour. Don't sleep on Black Opal. Don't sleep on drugstore products. Like, I know we're in the realm of, you know, high-end and, you know, expansive and whatever, but them drugstore, they still be holding us down over here. So that was Black Opal. This is high-end, this is Charlotte Tilbury. Um, you don't need to use this product. I got it on sale. You'll see a common theme here. Everything's on sale. <laughs> so I just bronzed my face up. Gonna bronze some more. I, I wasn't satisfied until like multiple bronze att bronzing attempts. Um, you'll see that in the video. But I really want my face to be warmed up. I really want it to be just golden hour to be every hour tonight. You know what I mean?
I just, what am I tucking behind my ear? I do this all the time. Like I have short hair. Even with my short hair, my little curls, I be brushing stuff behind my ear, especially if I have attitude. You gonna see a brush behind the ear, okay? And you saw it just now. So now I'm using some, some setting powder to clean up what I just sculpted and what I just bronzed. This is really important, especially for me. I like to use a bigger bronzing brush and sometimes that kind of gets the bronzer everywhere and I don't want it to be everywhere. So this cleans it up for me the same way I'm using my setting powder on my nose to clean up exactly where I want that sculpt thing to be. I'm using one of my favorite blushes, MAC. The shade, mm, I have to get back to. Check the detail description box below. But this is one of my favorite blushes, not only because it's pigmented, but it gives me a beautiful rosy look that I want for tonight. And I'm just using a, it's kind of like a flared out brush. I believe this is a Morphe brush. Like I said, I'm gonna make a video of every single product, every single brush, and exactly why I use those specific products. So I just put the blush on, and now I'm gonna take off everything from my lips. I have some foundation remnants on there. I have my lip gloss I put on earlier. I believe I'm doing a matte lip or a glossy lip, we'll see. But you need to take off the product that's on your lip right now so you can really have a clean base on your lips to apply your lip liner, lipstick, and so on and so forth. Another thing I started doing a couple months ago is I apply contour underneath my lips using this this is my contour brush actually i use it underneath my lips because i think it also gives my lips dimensions i already have a good size um of i feel like i have a good size of lips but this just adds more dimension and we love dimension over here i'm taking my kkw number two lip liner to line out my lips i like to use darker lip liners um sometimes i go really dark sometimes i, sometimes I go skin tone Today I'm doing it right in the middle. It's not crazy dark, but it's also not my skin tone. I love an outer dark, outer, outer lips that are darker and inner lips that are lighter. I love that look. It's just super like giving me 90s makeup. And then you just smack, smack, smack it in. You don't wanna, I don't like to like, remember back in the day when we used to put lip gloss on and we just rub our lips together. So with liner, I don't do that. I just try to, just kind of, I can't really explain it, I have to more so show it, but the goal is you don't wanna smother it all around, but you do wanna make sure that it's not just like a single line on your outer part of your lips. As you can see, now you see it, I kinda have like a little gradient going on, the, the middle of my lips are a little bit lighter, and the rest of my lips are darker. So at this point, I don't know what happened here, I think the tip of my liner broke off and I got another liner of the same shade, number two. One thing about me is I always have backups. If I like something, if I love something, I will never just have one of it. I have to buy multiple on sale. So I went and got my backup and fixed whatever needed to be fixed. And now I'm just wiping off the setting powder that's all over my face. So I sped this up for you and I'm just cleaning up now. So now I'm going to set. And let me tell you, I don't just set, I drench. I drench, I drench, I drench. Right now, I'm using the Morphe setting spray. I love, love, love morphe setting spray it just melts everything together like harsh lines will begin to disappear um dry patches will begin to go away it just does what it has to do but this is not the only thing i'm going to set my face with stay tuned right now i'm taking my mented cosmetics lipstick i don't know what shade this is but it's giving me like dark pink i guess and i'm just putting that on the inner part of my lip but you'll see i kind of just bring it all over the place i really want the outer liner to actually be very very subtle for tonight's look so i didn't do my normal um dark outer lighter inner i really want it to be a smooth gradient and i love this color it's so beautiful and mental cosmetics lipsticks lip liners all of the above mented honestly it's just very smooth application and they're black owned so double perks right there so now I'm gonna set some more. Like I said, I drench my face up. I really need to make sure that everything is seamless, everything is melted together, and I'm adding some more lipstick. So one thing about matte lipstick, this is a matte lipstick. You don't wanna apply two different layers back to back. You wanna apply one layer, let it dry, and then apply your second layer, let it dry, and then apply your third layer if you want to. So that's what I'm doing right now. I decided, as you can see, I went for the glossy look, so I used my, I believe this was Buxom Cosmetics Gloss. It's a pinkish tint to it, so that's what we used. And I'm applying more, I love blush. I love a rosy look, I love some rosy cheeks, I love some, oh my gosh, he's flirting with me, I'm blushing type of look. And that's what I was going for tonight. So I just added more blush because 
why not who's gonna check me nobody so at this point I am highlighting I am lighting up my face so I put my highlight I used to put it on the entirety of my nose but now I just put it on the tip and on the bridge and I keep it pushing and sometimes I accidentally put too much highlighter on just take your beauty blender with the setting powder and just blot it and trust me it'll go away now this right here is painful just looking at it I think that the head the band I had over my forehead it was just a little too tight honey but when we talk when we need to lay our edges we gotta do what we gotta do so now I'm just cleaning up my forehead so of course you're gonna see line demarcation after I take the band off so now I'm just fixing that up and kind of putting on the product where my band was to just make sure it's a seamless effect don't worry my hair is gonna be done I don't show that part I didn't want the video to be too long but this is not the final product so now I'm just checking my face making sure everything looks good together there was a couple things I did fix I don't show on camera but this is pretty much the look and now I'm adding my inner corner highlight because we want to bling bling light it up and that's pretty simple in itself just take a little pointed or even you could take honestly there's a couple different brushes you can use for this I'll have to show it in another video but you can take a flat brush you can take a pointed brush but you need to take a small brush most importantly so you don't so you don't get the highlight everywhere except in the corners and now I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury spray to set everything in now this is what's going to keep my makeup on for the six to seven hours I needed to be on and I just like to take my little fan or my fake fan and just um, fan myself and make sure that dries in and I use my bottom mascara I always use bottom mascara I don't know for me just add something to it however when I do matte look this is not really a matte look as you can see there's a little bit gloss to it for my matte looks I kind of like the no bottom mascara look but tonight I just wanted to to really pop in every sense of the word um, I'm so thankful you guys watched this video to its entirety if you made it to the end I am going to show you some clips of how everything looked my outfit the face the hair is going to be done at some point um, but thank you so much for watching I'm so 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 excited to just begin this journey and finally just launch today um, this like I said has been a year in the making it's been on my heart for several several months and I'm just so excited to finally have started and we're just going to go from here I'm completely 100% open to suggestion on what you want to see I have a couple videos already done, lined up, ready to post. Um, but if you have any suggestions, feel free to um, reach out to me in the comments. I have all my um, handles in the description box below, my Instagram, my Twitter, my TikTok. I'll even add my email. Please feel free to email me. And this is the final look. My hair is done, my hair is curled. That's the dress I wore. And these are some selfies I took. I was like, you know, let me show them the full look. But thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.